The Bulls return to Springfield this afternoon the Jets, the after a narrow defeat against the runaway leaders Farnham Town in midweek. And the Bulls were unfortunate perhaps to concede an 83rd minute penalty. That in the end proved to be the difference between Farnham and the Jersey Bulls. But this afternoon, the visitors are Guildford City, the Sweeney. It's a beautiful sunny day here for once at Springfield as the teams make their way out for the Bulls this afternoon. Returning is James Kerry, captaining the side as well. And the Bulls, we understand, will play three at the back with two wing backs. We expect the back three of Kerry, Curtis and LaRouge Tail with wing backs in Fergus Boyle and Francis Lekima Matti. For the Sweeney, their leading goal scorer is also their captain, number five, James Glover, who's netted three times from 35 starts this season. Well, the Bulls now are at the business end of the season. There are 11 games to go. Six of them will be at Springfield. Five will be away. And the Bulls need to start today with a victory against Guildford, who were leading the table very early pre-season, but have been on a little bit of a slide, having only won one of their last 21. But as we know, sides that come to Springfield are always set up to make life difficult for the Bulls. Well, we're a little bit late this afternoon, but it looks like we are now ready. Mr. Giorgio has the whistle in his mouth, and we're underway. Well, there's a shot straight away. Pierce Roche just waits, but it's an interesting way to start the game from the Sweeney, from the kickoff. It's quickly up. Lekim Amati has gone out far right into Watson. McCain does find Lekim Amati. Lekim Amati cuts inside to Bickley, trying to get Cavallio in and behind. Cavallio with a shot, saved, falls, and they've scored. The ball falls from the Chisholm block to Adam Trotter, who from about four yards out makes absolutely no mistake. And it's what we were talking about earlier. The Bulls need to take more shots on goal. They take it, Chisholm makes the save, but in the end, he can only parry it to the feet of Adam Trotter, who buries it into the back of the net. And we're just under 10 minutes gone in this first half. Jersey Bulls have the lead, the goal scorer, Adam Trotter. Curtis just tries to get there. Trotter flicks it on, Bickley again. Bickley now cuts inside. Needs to support. He's got Boyle who's bombing down this left-hand side. Into the penalty box. Boyle squares it back to Lacane. To Bickley. Now to Cavallio. Blocked. Looks like Taylor is there. Break now for Sweeney. Through Phillips. Mitra just trying to hold his line. Takes the run. Is he onside? He may well be. Roche is there. Big hand. Good save by the big man. The right hand stays strong as Mitchell tries to dink it past him. Well, first real action for Piers Roche and he's up to the challenge. McCain. Cavallio picks it up, takes it on. Cavallio steps over it, still going, still going. Cavallio cuts inside in towards Bickley. Trotter, quick ball out towards Lekim Amati, over his head, can he keep it in? He can. Ahead of him is Watson. Lekim Amati again, squares it. Watson is there! Well, a great run by Luke Watson. He just couldn't, in the end, keep the ball down as he runs into the box, takes the ball first time, and it goes over the crossbar. But much better play by the Bulls. Good enterprise from them. Feet of Bickley, touch to Cavallio. Cavallio now to Trotter. Steps inside, forges forward. Here comes Adam Trotter, still going. Will he shoot? Steps over, Trotter! Wants to take the shot now, Bickley does, and it's saved by Chisholm. Goes to a wall of players in the end. Keeper sees that late. But again, better blame. You just wonder if Trotter could have taken the shot himself, but in the end, he lays it off, and Bickley at least forces Chisholm into making the save. Rouge tail again. Trotter's made the run. Cavallio's there. Rouge tail steps forward. 
into the feet again of Bickley, who's just flicked it inside to Watson. Now to Trotter. Trotter, can he finish? He does. It's 2-0. It's Adam Trotter with his second of the game. Lovely bit of football. Chisholm is left, spread legs in goal as he's beaten for the second time by Adam Delboy Trotter. His second of the game. The Bulls second. And they have a 2-0 lead. Well, it was good play by the Bulls. It was nice, intricate play that they've been demonstrating all afternoon. The minute that Trotter got the ball back, you felt he was going to score. And he made no mistake. Adam Trotter with his second of the afternoon. Here comes Kerry bombing forward. Cavallio picks it up. Watson into the feet of Lacane. Lacane just keeps it. Watson, Trotter again, edge of the box. Take the shot, you think. Take the shot. Well, he plays it forward and it's, well, is it there? Oh, well, it's Johnny Lacane who plays it up and over the keeper and tries then to take the return ball himself and nod it into the net. He just can't quite find the angle. But you do wonder whether Adam Trotter there should have just taken the shot. The rouge tail again. Goes wide to Lekim Amati, who takes it on the run first time, cuts inside, Lekim Amati squares it, now to Lekane who scores! Oh, well, he takes the shot on Johnny Lekane first time and it looked like he'd scored. It just shaves the right-hand post for the first half that has been absolutely dominated by the Jersey Bulls. Not often you say that lately, but today, so far, it's been the case as Cavallio picks it up. Is there another goal here before half-time? He goes past Taylor, Cavallio cuts inside, plays it forward for Bickley. Well, oh, quickly across, it looks like a Jay Obi there. Hook it clear. Boyle battling with Phillips. Trotter helping out, Phillips missing it. Trotter picks it up, Trotter now. Takes it on himself, left foot. Looks to turn it to his right, Trotter and left again. And then he hits a side netting. Is there a touch? There's a claim of the keeper getting a hand on it, but not given. But Adam Trotter there, turning onto his left, onto his right, onto his left, and then again, just can't quite find the target. He was going for the first half hat trick. It doesn't quite come off. Cavallio picks it up into Trotter, gets it back. Cavallio now, will he take it himself? He comes out to the left, he's got space there. Boyle, in it comes, far post. Bickley with the header, back and across. Stillwell clears it up, and it's, well, blocked by Lacane as Sims tries to clear it. And again, the Sweeney are being pushed back. A break though, rare one down the right-hand side early for the Sweeney, cuts inside. Phillips going, tries to play it to Mitchell, flicked away, nearly falls. It does come to Ogbenufi, takes the shot straight at Piers Roche. But again, just a warning sign for the Bulls here, not to get too complacent. Taylor, he's trying to get Mitchell going. Oh, he's got past LaRouge tail, he's on his own here. Mitchell shoots, hits the post. Well, Mitchell does really well there. Hasn't had much of a sniff this afternoon, but comes within inches of halving the deficit there. And the Bulls get a reprieve. Bulls break it up. Who else? Boyle this time. Now Lacane. Bickley. Glover goes across. Oh, good play. Bickley now is free. Into the box. Bickley, can he square it? Will he take it himself? Well, he goes in. Keeper does well. Chisholm at the feet of Bickley, who goes bombing over the top of the keeper. And maybe just touched too heavy there from Lorne Bickley. And again. And flick now over the head. Here comes Cavallio, he's been pulled back there. Well, that's going to be trouble for Glover. It's just outside the box, but Glover pulls Cavallio by the shirt. It's certainly going to be a yellow for that. He had no real choice, Glover. He's been for pace. Cavallio was past him. Well, it looks like a yellow card. Bickley is forward as well. It's going to be Cavallio. Goes for the shot. Well, too much. Underneath there from the magician. Not going to trouble Chisholm. Again, the ball's building up here with Watson. The rooster. 
Leki Mamati now onto the left side, goes past Glover. Leki Mamati into the box, shoots, saved, parried. Doesn't quite fall to Cavalio who is coming in. And again, the shot causes a chance to fall for the balls, but this time doesn't fall to anybody's feet. Cavalio up there, squares it nicely. Lecane, there's numbers here for the balls, but Lecane goes, oh, well, there was an overlap and he has to turn inside. Still going, Johnny Lecane though, takes the shot from distance, blocked and saved, and then the parry, and Bickley, the flag is up, wouldn't have counted it. Well, Bickley still plays on, the flag is finally acknowledged. But again, the third time that the Bulls have taken the shot, the keeper hasn't been able to hold on to it. Trotter now flicks it inside to Barlow. Good control from him. Boyle. Lekim Mati is open on the right-hand side. If anyone can spot him, Boyle now. Back to Trotter. Squares it to Lecane. Plays it 1-2. Gets it back, does he? Just about. Lecane brought down, is he? Well, maybe just his momentum, in fact. It looked like he might have just got a bit of a touch. Not enough for it to be a clear-cut penalty. But the ball's coming close yet again. Johnny Lecane nearly breaking through. Chance maybe to break here. Ellis Vassell plays it forward. Hits the back of Johnson. Still going, Johnson. To Whiting. And then his ball, trying to reverse it back inside. And that is the final action of this second half here. It's all over at Springfield Stadium. The applause from the home crowd for a very solid and comfortable, in the end, performance by the Jersey Bulls, who did all the business in the first half. They got the two goals through Adam Trotter. They were comfortably in at half-time with those two goals. Nothing changed in the second half. The Bulls again maintained possession. They couldn't create too much. They weren't able to really test Chisholm. But in the end, it didn't really matter. They outplay Guildford City and they take all three points here at Springfield Stadium. So March gets off in the right way for the Bulls. It will be, of course, another midweek game away at Shearwater on Tuesday. We will bring that to you live. But until then, we hope you've enjoyed it. The Bulls have won here 2-0 against Guildford City. Adam Trotter with the Bracer goals and the player of the match. As the players make their way off, it's all over now. We'll see you next time.